I spent an entire day in the deadliest slum in Jamaica. Is the video we're reacting to today, ladies and gentlemen. I have most certainly not spent an entire day in the deadliest slum in Jamaica. Go get yourself something to drink, sit back, relax, and hey, let's react. Morning, fam. Wagwan. Behind uh, wagwan, me is the general penitentiary of Kingston, Jamaica. This penitentiary is in the middle of the city. Tivoli okay. Gardens, Jamaica, labeled the most dangerous hood in the country and home to now imprisoned international drug lord Christopher Koch, also known as Duddis. So powerful that in 2010, the United States, in cooperation with Jamaican police, yeah. launched a massacre, killing what? a thousand plus innocent people in order to capture him. Imagine you're sitting in your bed at home, asleep. And Wait, they killed a thousand people to or a thousand people to get like to get one person. Isn't that? Isn't that low key like that's a catastrophe though, right? A thousand people like are we talking a thousand civilians or did he just have like a thousand goons around? That is crazy. And a helicopter starts firing explosive rounds into your house. The what? entire community that you live in is being raided by your national army. And even though you have nothing to do with the crime, you've been shot. Your family member's dead right next to you and thousands massacred. That is crazy. This is the story of Jamaica's most dangerous hood. That is I'm crazy. Eric. I spent my early 20s locked in my room as a professional gamer. Shout out Eric, man. Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, I spend my time exploring the globe's most dangerous and undocumented places because... If you don't... Uh, death, whoa. If you don't understand what I mean with Welcome Back, he was kidnapped on uh, on Haiti. And yeah, we're just like, we don't wish that for anybody. We're happy to hear that he's back. A lot of people saying that it's fake. I... <sighs> You never know on YouTube, but I actually don't think it was. I actually don't think it was. Haiti is a very dangerous place at the moment. And he went there. That's what he does. He goes dangerous places and documents it so that we can see it. So I don't know. Hopefully it wasn't fake. I mean, hopefully and hopefully. I, I would low-key say hopefully it was because I wouldn't want that for you. But you all know what I'm trying to say. Welcome back, bro. This is where I feel most alive. This penitentiary is in the middle of the city, but they do have a lot of protection. They got barbed wire. It's funny, like, I always thought, so obviously I'm not from America, nor am I from England. So my English is a bit rusty. I always thought it was penitentiary. But apparently it's penitenti penitentiary, 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 whatever he said. Barbed he says it different than I would. Then an empty layer and more barbed wire fences. Then in between that empty layer, they got another hole dug in. So okay. that way if someone was to escape, they have to climb three barbed wire fences and pass all these different guard towers. But I don't do prison content. I'm just showing you this because today we're headed to Tivoli Gardens, one of Kingston, Jamaica's most dangerous slums. Okay. And through our connection here, after having spent some time with the Rastafarian, and getting noticed in public a few times, as well as some social proof. We've gained approval to go and hang. Hey, so a lot of y'all are from Jamaica, right? Let me know in the comments right now. And I mean right now. Let me know if this is actually the most dangerous slum in Jamaica. Because I know he's from America. And I'm not saying he doesn't do his research. Because I'm actually a huge fan of what he does. I really enjoy his videos. But like, y'all are from Jamaica. So, like, let me know in the comments if, was it Tivoli? We would say Tivoli. We would say Tivoli Gardens, but that's in Danish. So, like, Tivoli Gardens. Is that actually the most dangerous slum in, in Jamaica? Hang out and learn what the community slum life is like in Jamaica, as well as interview some of the top dogs here in the crime life of Jamaica. But I think it's time we head to the slums. Let's go. And get you guys the content that... You watch on this channel, which is me risking my life. Fix. As usual. Fix. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Wag one. Yeah, me and you. Why I can't go find with them, can you? I make me a blow the wood, please. You want to blow up the place? Yes, man. I'm the main game. So you know, we cross on those, those niggas. Uh huh. Ha ha. Pick up. Get it on. We 
crash you all know you man what in the a d d d d d d d d d d d d d h d is going on here this dude is doing like ninja turtle stuff okay hey is this taxi oh rasta man wagwan Before we head to the slums, I want you guys to guess which fruit this is. This is a mango. It's most definitely not a mango, but if if you if you're not new on the channel and you know me, then you know that my friend has like his biggest dream is picking a mango off of a mango tree in Jamaica and eat it. And I have made it my purpose or maybe not purpose, but I've made it a goal in my life to fulfill his dream. So every time I see fruits on Jamaica, I'm like, mango. It's probably not though. What does this fruit look like? What would that be though? Wait, what is he saying? If you're from the USA or somewhere in the West, you probably wouldn't have guessed. That. This is an this orange. This is an orange. This is a natural orange. No, it's not orange colored. Okay, this is this is how an orange comes out before they put all the coloring, all the bleach in it. Oh. Nah, cap, 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 cap. It might be an orange. Don't get me wrong. That might be an orange. I'm not saying it's not. But our oranges are not orange because they put stuff in them. Come on, stop the cap. Stop the cap. I don't believe that. All the preservatives that you get out in the modern world that's supposed to be so healthy. I don't believe that. Is there a guy with a gun walking up to it? Is that a gun? What's your name, bro? My name is Moses Selassie. Moses Selassie. Is that a homemade gun? Yeah, I mean, I make my gun. My gun make cloud. It's, it's flashlight. This is blue lightning. Wait, it shoots lightning? What? Yeah, I shoot lightning. It's spiritual. It goes on charging. Oh, it's, it's a spiritual. Moses, gun... consider this a protection fee. My gun don't take life. It give life. Protect me. Yeah, my... give life. Give life. Yeah, my gun is life gun. My gun give life. Car, my gun blow a breeze, and it's the oxygen for life. It's the oxygen for life. My, yeah, my gun pour rain. I mess with this dude. I mess with this my dude. My gun, make the sun shine. That is the energy of life. It's a uh, spiritual uh, uh. gun. Yeah, this is a blue light. Man. Computer chip. Yeah, yeah, this is a switch. Okay. It, 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 when I turn this, I my guy actually made a gun. Light. Here I was doing an orange review. Real machine. And now I'm holding a real machine, blue lightning gun. Real lightning. machine. You see, I'm on a big rifle set, so on the screen, it is Moses. Moses. Bam, 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 bam. So does this actually shoot lightning? Lightning, straight, straight. Blue lightning. Blue lightning. Don't point at me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's sorry, sorry. Does it actually shoot though? I want him oh, it to. it drains you. I want him to try shooting it. Power of it. You don't feel like heavy. Cheers. 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 Throne. Two. Two. Throne. I am three in one, one in three. I'm prophet, priest, and king. Prophet, priest, and uh, yeah. king. I am eat, air, and water. I am earth, sky, and sea. Okay. I am man, woman, and child. So what is this, earth? Yeah? Earth? Yeah, that, that is Earth. Earth. Yeah, but on this Earth. Cheers. Monster used to walk this Earth before mine. And you can speak... Long time ago. You can speak to the monster. I messed with this dude. I, want, I just want to talk to you. Monster used to walk on Earth. They'll... Monster still walk on Earth. Elephants are monsters. Elephants are monsters. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that, flavor. dude. And that orange thing is still kept, though. I don't believe that for a second. I think, I think, and I don't know this, but I think it's just depending on where it grows, probably because of like, you know, like the different, I can't like, I, there's a certain word that I'm looking for and I can't like think of, I think it's kept though. I, I think it just depends on where it grows. It'll like have a different color or something like that. I think, I don't think it's something we add to it. So we're out here in Tivoli Gardens. All right. We're hanging out with a lot of the guys. They've been giving us the history 
of Tivoli of this garrison. They call it garrison here, not slum or... I remember when I was live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call it the garrisons. I, I remember when I was live with, uh, with KB. So obviously in the Western world, we call it the hood or the ghetto or the projects and stuff like that. Obviously, like there is a difference between those things, at least in Denmark. But nevertheless, that's what we call it. And I was talking to um, to KB. If you don't know her, go listen to her music. She's a she's an she is an Jamaican artist. Very good one. Very very good one. And when we were live, she was like, she was. Uh, we were talking about these places, and she asked me where I would want to go in Jamaica. And I was like, man, I want to go everywhere. Say, so you want to go to the garrisons? And I was like. It took me just a second, then I caught up to it. I was like, oh, okay, the garrisons, like the bad parts. But like, I I had to like think for a second. I was like, the garrisons? Isn't that like some military stuff? But obviously it's like, it's slang for the slums. So, or yeah. favela or projects. Every country got its own way to say it, you know? All right, so now yeah. we're in and we're about to get the... I'm going to teach y'all, sorry I'm posting it this much, but I'm going to teach y'all some Danish right now. We call it, where I'm from at least, where I grew up, what we used to call our like, so it was like, it wasn't the best place where that I lived my last years in Denmark. We called it Omrud. I promise you all you can't say it. If you gave it an attempt, let me know how you did in the comments. Or even actually try to spell it for me in the comments. If you can spell it, hey, I'll give you a free reaction of whatever choice you have. Um, yeah, Omrud. That's what we call it. Now, I want to tell you what it means, but I won't do that because then y'all are just going to look it up and say that you could spell it. If you can spell it, actually, I'm going to just say the one that comes closest to spelling it, I'll do it like you'll get a free reaction on whatever video you want me to react to. Yeah, Omrud is what we is what we call it where I'm from. Let me see how you do. Historical experience here of all the art on these walls. Tivoli was originally ran by heavy drug gangs, drug lords, drug kingpins. After they okay. had exported such big amounts to the USA, they got raided here. And there was a thousand person massacre where a helicopter pulled up right there and just started firing into the slum. That's insane. Since then, Tivoli has tried to forget about the trauma of the massacre by reinvesting into the community through art and farming. Check this. So. We got another influencer here in the slums from Tavoli Gardens. Introduce yourself, bro. Yeah, Ziti Daniel. You make skits? Yeah, man, I love skits. And this is this is your setup? So you bring a ring light and you have the entire phone set up and you- That ring light right there looks exactly like mine. I have it pointing at me right now. I have one there and I have one there. That that one we see right there on the, on the left side looks exactly like mine. Plug it in. That's intense. Look at him putting in effort. Yeah, box that shit. Oh, damn. Okay. I don't want to fight, bro. I don't want to fight. All right, let's train. Uh, oh. He said he going to break his foot. Come on, bro. Oh, don't trip, bro. Okay, that was good. Um, let's, see, let's see those pull-ups. These are the best pull-ups you can get in Jamaica. Nice work. <laughs> Man, bro, that's exactly name? how I would do it. Adira, you paint these? I paint some of them. You paint some of them? Yeah. How long have you been painting? I don't know, I guess like five years or so, but mostly I paint about um, yeah, my connection to my ancestors and like the Training spiritual aspect. Jamaica is very high on like spiritual stuff, like very, very big on um, spiritual stuff. I actually really like that. That's so interesting. I'm so excited to go to Jamaica at some point. I really want to go to Jamaica at some point. I will go to Jamaica oh, at some life. point. All right, before we even get started, the whole motto for this project is healing thoughts through okay. art. You get me? All of this that we're doing here is to provide some form of art therapy and... Um, okay to the community, you know, change the hearts Respect. and the minds and the spirit and the whole, you know what I'm saying? This is Life Child's artwork. Life Child is the, the lead artist. He 
he was part of like putting together this whole concept. Him and Coco came together with this, you know what I'm saying? So you got a big up life child. Yeah. Big up life child. Big oh, that's up great. That's awesome. That looks good. I like good. this one in particular. With the Africa, King Kong, Jamaica. That one caught my eye. Uh, this one is by Chanel Davis. That's good. Big up. What's the guy's name? What's the guy's name? Life child. Big up life child. So this one um, was done by Monster, Money Monster Meds and Daddy Daps. And um, he's... I can't say big up uh, yes. Money Monster Mix and Daddy Daps. That's a lot. It is. Life, life Child is way easier. Big up Life Child. Big up Life Child. You know, like if I'm in the middle of the street and I'm going, yeah, it's big up Daddy money Daps and Money Monster but Mix. Big them up same way. Big up Money Monster Meds and Daddy Daps same way. I need a cleaner name from you guys. <laughs> life Child, like come on. I, Big up all Big of them. Big up life child. <laughs> <laughs> Big up is the Jamaican way of showing love. They say Big it about up. everybody. Big up, respect. It basically means hype them up. Oh, yeah, so this respect is like a metaphysical piece. Hey, by the way, just to let y'all know, when I'm trying to speak Jamaican, don't you dare come for me, okay? I know damn well that I can't speak Jamaican whatsoever. I can't speak Patwa. But I'm trying. <laughs> let me have fun. So all of the colors are representing the different chakras. Rainbow in the U.S. Is, isn't about chakras. Yeah, but this wasn't that. That's not really what the, the message is. It's well, about the rainbow is also in Pakistan, China. I know. So they don't own the rainbow then? Nobody owns the rainbow. Nice. The Let's rainbow go. I'm gonna start repping the rainbow again, just for nature. That's the man. Wait, you're actually life child? That's the man. Big up, life child. I love your work, life child. Big up, this big up. Oh, that is him. <laughs> they like your work. My viewers like your work. Yeah. We've been bigging you up the whole the whole time. No free spec. Wait, what is that? It's a candy. It's a coconut. Oh, really? Yes, please. Oh, this is called Busta, by the way. He's gonna Busta. Yeah, Busta. What is in it? Coconut. Coconut and molasses. Yeah, I sugar. Man, mm. I want to try that too. Nice, right? That's a mm -hmm. good taste. It's called Busta nut. Busta, not. Busta. <laughs> this dude is crazy. A lot of nice murals on the wall. Car with no windows. He's a What's bus this and nut. called? Okay, this one is called Life in Motion. Life in Motion. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, yeah, go on. I'm listening. Okay, You're so doing a good job. This piece is about. Okay, so you know how in life there, we have to travel on, yeah. on a path. And our journey in life is never, you know, straight and perfect. We have to go through some rocky roads. Facts. You have to go through some dark places. Facts. But we will persist. Wow, that's so deep. <laughs> Can I add a like my own touch to it? Okay. Oh you yeah. Yeah. Well, you just light it on fire. Yes, and then drive it Ooh. off of a cliff. Okay. That's a good form of art. I like how colorful these roads are. Very interesting roads. Definitely, uh, you know, when we hear music, a lot of the we instantly well. start moving. We're reacting over here. Concrete stones. You know, these houses are well fortified. But correct me if I'm wrong, this seems kind of peaceful, though. This actually seems very peaceful. It seems like it has a lot to do with peace, which is good. But that's not the dangerous slum in all of Jamaica, then, right? Because I know you all have some garrisons that are uh, just don't don't go there and and stop being disrespectful you should not go anywhere and be disrespectful man you're not at home you're a guest you know but is this really the deadliest slum like deadliest slum meaning like as of in today in today's world or did it used to be I like how colorful everything is. I notice in Jamaica they don't do a. Uh... Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we're good, bro. We're not. There was business going on in the alley, so we couldn't film. I'm not stepping back into that alleyway. Uh, <laughs> I see. Trying to start nothing. I see. Subscribe to Era.com. Nice. Big up yourself. That's your bicycle. Man. Oh, so you were actually gonna fix your bicycle with the money I gave you? How much is your bicycle to fix? Five. That's what I'm telling you. Five. It costs you five thousand to fix your bicycle. Here's two thousand more. 
Now you have 4,000. The other 1,000, you gotta work for it. So you gotta earn the other 1,000. You figure out how to make money. I can't give it all to you. Then you'll then you'll become spoiled. Yeah. They're partying. There's a there's a party going on behind us. Oh, it's oh, nice we are in right the slums of Jamaica. We got the boxing bag. We got the dancing. <laughs> Influencer making skits. And they're chilling. I want to buy rum for the guy. Yeah, just like for the people dancing and for everyone around. How much is like a bottle of rum? 2K? What do you think about that art? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Behind me are bullet holes from when there was the incursion that occurred. And if you go even deeper, you see like not only are they on these buildings, but there's also a big amount up there. Oh, yeah. Almost like a mini war zone happening here in the slums to take down a, you know, big drug lord at the time. So I still find that so bad, though. Like, OK, you got to get the drug lord. I get that part. I, I get it. But flying a helicopter in to an area knowing that there's a lot of civilians living in this area and just start like <laughs> that's my that's my shooting a rifle sound like <laughs> nah but but for real that's not even funny like you can't do that like just flying into a an, an area whether there's a lot of crime or not knowing that there is children and civilians in there and just start like lighting up the place that's awful they're trying to paint over those and and cover these kind of pieces of evidence that remind you of that history so we're here now at the farming initiative of the garrison here where we're there, rasta city of the Ross, this is rasta city the farming initiative so they want to become self-sufficient where they're growing their own vegetables they're growing their own fruits so they can sell back to the community and that way you're making money Beautiful. in the community in a in a non-dangerous way. All Beautiful. these trees are food trees. Banana, apple, this one? Jackfruit? Oh, sick. Oh, oh really? That's not a ripe one? Oh, yeah, big-ass jackfruit. Rasta City. It's more the culture, Rasta. Right. So if I'm back in the days, you know, this is, as its name suggests, Rasta City. Okay. So and and he, this is part of Tivoli Gardens? Yeah, man. Um, but people live here too, yeah? Not just like... Yeah, man. I was just sick and sick. Sarah. Bhagwan. Yeah, Arab. Arab? Yeah, man. No, yeah. <laughs> you know me? <laughs> All right. You see my videos? Oh, he does have good videos. I'm not going to lie. Somebody watches my videos. What's up, bro? What's your name? Tele. Tele. You've seen my stuff? Legend. All over the world, man. You ever think you'd see me here? See you all over the world, man. But did you think you would see me here? No, no, no. see you through that door. <laughs> We're in Rasta City. Actually, exactly with A-Rap, it does not surprise me that he's, he's in Jamaica. Um, It really doesn't. I actually did expect to see him there. Like, I was thinking it was just a matter of time or a question of time or whatever you guys say before you would see him on Jamaica. Because... Something I've learned from talking to a lot of you guys is that obviously, do you have bad places on Jamaica? Yes, you do. But do you have bad places in Denmark where I'm from? Yes, you do. You have bad places everywhere in the world. And so far, not saying that nothing happens on Jamaica because I think a lot of bad things happens. But you have a lot of lovely people. And I can speak on that because I've been talking to a ton of you guys. And I'm just saying, like, I feel like Jamaica has gotten a reputation of being a dangerous place, which I find kind of sad because it's a beautiful place with a lot of lovely people, a lot of culture, good vacations, like whatever, like, I feel like Jamaica is being misreputated, if you can even say, if that is a word, if it's not, it now became one, if you have an issue with it. 
fight me, bro. <laughs> Tell it. If there's more farming like this stuff here too. So all, all, all the people in this part of the community, they help with farming. Yeah, man. Oh wait, these are bulldogs. Oh. Huh? Yeah, just careful. These these things like to eat me. Oh. Not a big fan of the bulldogs. Chicken. Goats. Oh sh. Damn. A lot of goats. I'm coming into the goat farm. Oh, bro, come on. I'm not a big fan of the goats. So you milk them? No, we don't. That's crazy. That are the meal ones. For the rum? Yeah, them, the ram, ram. Oh, the ram, the ram goats. For the for the head? Or no? Is that for the, the rum? It's actually a curry goat. Oh, okay. Curry goat? Yeah. Oh, this is curried goat. You make it out of this. So, curried goat is a Jamaican dish. <laughs> <laughs> so how big does it have to get before you it's time that big, one yeah, yeah, big. natural goats not infused with needles and you you run this all this initiative yeah, it's a, it's a... not infused with needles i know that like there is a lot of bad stuff in in food and especially america there's a lot of american things that are not even allowed in denmark because like they just have a ton of bad stuff in it um, now I'm from Denmark, which is still a part of the Western world. I'm not saying we don't do anything to like poison our food. Cause I think there's a lot of bad stuff in the food where, where I'm from too. But I think, Aira, brother, I think you're exaggerating it a little bit. Now I know you from, you're from America. So could be that in America, but you said if you're from America or the Western world, I'm from the Western world, brother. And I don't think it's that bad. But I could be wrong. This is, what is this? Plum. This is a plum? That's a plum. Really? I've never seen a plum this small. Nah, me neither. Ours are like this. They never see a plum this small. Is it supposed to be bitter? No. This is actually a beautiful no. garden. This is amazing. <laughs> is it supposed to be, is it supposed to be bitter? No. Man, that wasn't no plum. It probably was. Easy. You know, you don't actually feel the beauty of it until you get into it. You're immersed. You look behind, like, doesn't that just look majestic? Rasta Jamaica life, is a beautiful love. place. Oh, man. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful country. Wagwan. Hey, I to try it, please. You what? Under that, please. You want $100? I got you, bro. You want 100 or do you want 150? Well, you, you want 100 only? You don't want 150? Just yeah, 100? Yeah, I want 50. You want 150? Okay, <laughs> take this. There you go. You want 250? Yeah. You want 200? Nice. But it's 3,000 I you. Want, you want more money? No, earn it, bro. Come on, I gave you 200. I gave you 200. Can't, can't, can't be giving them too much. Then they think that they get everything for free. That's a fact. We're putting work in this world. That's We're going a fact. Jamaican restaurant now. I both spice. Oh, wow. Wagwan. It's organic. Organic. Yeah. We don't do, we don't do modified energy. Okay. Strictly organic. Okay. Yeah. So the farm that we get our food from, does the use fertilizer, not spray. Okay. Now, yeah, see, yeah. that is definitely a thing in Denmark, um, which isn't healthy. We definitely fertilize, uses the spray and like stuff like that. That is definitely a thing in Denmark. Now, I'm not going to sit here and just like make it sound like our food is perfect. No, that we definitely use. Okay. That's true. That's tough. Hey, if you don't know, uh speed i show speed um was in brazil and they rap did a prank on him where he had people from the favela run up on him and act like they're about to jack him for all his stuff he was crying so hard bro i get him though i get him so so what you're smoking right now is organic and healthy i just don't know if i believe you Welcome he to said the he's smoking steam to pipe the everything total everything total it's right now Okay. Is that a is that a sweet? Right. That looks so good, bro. This that looks amazing. It's made with that. With bananas. Banana. Chickpeas. Pecan nuts. Okay. No sugar. No flour. 
No mirrors. This is all stuff okay. I've never seen. All right, so, all right. You want a square? That is impressive. I want to try a piece of all of it. I'm possible. sorry, one square then. Oh, bro, I think I'm in love with Jamaica. Right. Me too. Just right. off the juice. Oh. The juice and the square. Oh, the juice I had earlier. Start with that. Let's Start with this. All right, so we're trying the pineapple juice again. All right. When we tried the pineapple juice with the Rasta, it was so good. Oh, I think that's alcoholic with rum. Oh. That's just the ginger. I don't think that is alcoholic. The ginger is very strong in it. All right, we're trying a cake, some sort of cake. I don't know what I'm eating. Might be an edible, bro. You're supposed to drink that with this. I feel a very Jamaican vibe right now. We're doing the food review now. Don't know what I'm eating. So what's this burger called? I got. I got. Oh, that looks. Oh, that looks solid, bro. That made me hungry right there. I've heard Jamaican food is some of the best food in the world, bro. I can't wait. I can't wait. So good, bro. So good. In Jamaica, they have this food called Aital food, which is basically pure natural. No meat, straight hell. And it is by far the best vegan food I've eaten. This burger was a lightly seared breadfruit, and this drink was some random fruit or vegetable juices. Nah, I'm not a vegan, but I gotta try that. I gotta try that. Hey, if you're watching this, if you know the person you're watching this, you know the person who has that place, hey, put him on to me, like, spread the name, Project Happiness, let him know. I need to, like, make him contact me so I need, so I know where to go. I need to try that. First time I've ever seen any of this food in my life, and I wish I knew what I was eating, but I've never seen anything like it. All you gotta know is to trust the Rasta, man. I got it, I got it. No, man, my video you want to try this. You want me to try that? No way I'm trying this. No, yes, yeah, you are trying No, no, I'll do, it, I'll do it from the coconut. No, man, this are the Isis. Isis. You're gonna, you want me to hit this right now? This is our video? <laughs> no, man, on this side. I can't do that. I don't smoke, bro. I vape, but I don't get high. Not no more. No, 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 I'm not going again. No, no, no way. <laughs> The last time I did something like that was like five years ago. Look at that. Oh. Just a big rock in the middle of the road. Right now to explore more of nature. This is what I want to see. Like what I also want to see. Jamaican nature. Oh my days, bro. I love it. Except for y'all spiders and snakes and whatever dangerous animals I feel like you guys have. I love it. Oh my god. Sure. Biggest waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> no, no biggie. Almost just uh, lost control of the wheel. Throw <laughs> us off a cliff. So we're at some sort of waterfall. We're going deeper into nature now. They gave us that Yo. tour of Tivoli Gardens. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to see a different side of it. Jamaica's been pretty nice so far. Definitely getting out of my comfort zone. Check that out. Big ass waterfall behind me. This is We're in beautiful, between some bro. In a valley. Green mountains. I'm sure it's very loud for you guys. This is pretty cool. Hey, I don't know why, but this reminds me low-key of the place where... Uh, it's probably not this place, but where um, Pop Khan, he shot the music video for um, greatness... I was about to say greatness. Greatness inside. I need to go you to... You want to talk about Majestic? Look at the Rastafarian. I gotta go there, bro. Absolutely conquering that waterfall right there. I gotta go there. Get the strength of the water. And there I was with a Rasta man, learning to enjoy nature. Although disappointed I never got to interview some gang bosses like I was told, I forgot about all that. Yeah, man. I often get so caught up in chasing the next dangerous adrenaline hit, I forget to enjoy the simple things. The fruits nature of the is, land yo. and the gifts of Mother Nature. There we go, bro, a -Rab. Hey Reb, you did it again. Mate, I'm so excited to go to Jamaica, bro. I'm so excited. But hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you do enjoy videos like this, let me know in the comments. Remember to like the video. It does a ton. 
it just it helps out man it, and especially with the algorithm so hey if you want more of these type of videos then hey let me know thank you for watching this video stay safe stay happy stay blessed and until next time yeah.